OK back. Chapter 15 Ten years ago, by a man named Sissel. Took a little girl named Lynn Hostet. And then was killed by a meteorite fragment. Tonight, a man named Sissel. Met a detective named Lynn, a junkyard on the edge of town. And then was killed by a bullet. the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line. Feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. I see myself. Surprise. There you are, Commander Sif. Finally. Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. little little unfinished mess to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We 
can talk about this when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. But I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Um, yes, we're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. How they now? By all means, let me have a look. Yes, we're very close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Oh hey, it's a submarine. Nice try, Inspector Cabanilla. But you could never stop me. See ya, sucker. You could wake up for me. Oh boy, still unconscious, eh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then.
I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. But if that were I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for a call. That a good boy. Be a hostage sure is a handy thing. It gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Oh, the TTS don't like that. All it put out was some scratching noise. What's the matter? All those broken bones smirk a bit. What it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away 10 years ago. So is he a zombie? Don't be ridiculous.
it was a meteor that stole your life. Or have you forgotten that? Wrong. I was murdered. By all of you. chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. When that girl who was right there where I was running. Park. If that rat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. garbage I've ever heard. Yes, he must suffer from brain rot. And finally, Liu, Inspector Cabanilla. gun at that kid. You were so proud of your spotless record. My case was the one blood on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth, me and Detective Jowdy. will disappear for good. That boy, you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are.
I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Show off. Be God. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big, big red stain on your spotless white coat. Arnetto, not strawberry jam. This was another condition of my deal. Revenge. That's what I'm up to. None of this makes any sense. Pain. Pain man. Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cavanella, he's awake. My head is spinning, baby. Am I to understand? The character who just got shot is me. Oh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. I guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? Hard. I love how both Joe and Kevin Neela are like completely on the ball. After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? Who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. Oh, 
I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, they have information about that guy and read information I need. life here somewhere, a life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. We're paying attention. What did you see when Missile got powers? I've never seen the ghost world like this. So you're here, are you? He sensed my presence. I noticed you. You think you can stop me, do you? I don't know why you are wearing my face. But you might as well give up now. I control everything. Everything, including the life of this police inspector in white.
the lead wave. Don't shoot. Oh, wait, don't shoot. This other me knows the powers of the dead well. Who wouldn't notice what you just did? You were practically shouting, look at baby. It looks like it might be hard to save you under these circumstances. I guess I can't use my powers right in front of him like that. This is basically when one move and you have to start over. Look at this play. What in the world happened here? I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. And now... There's another 
Find that flying hidden here. What? Another death. Didn't I tell you from the start? say there is a very important life valuable to the nation here. I thought you were talking about you. Crazy character in a white coat, baby. <laughs> Let me guess, Pigeon Man. Hey, come to think of it. Where's that old pigeon guy? Um, excuse me. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Cabinella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Like he didn't just blow up the place. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? is a different guy, and I'm his guest, actually, said he can't be to rescue us. Said he came to rescue us.
Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Infiff, pitiful. Ouch, that hurts. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? Deception. Further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanilla. Further, maybe you'll find a lead. Times do I have to tell you, Professor, this place is dangerous? Don't be daft. I can't leave now. dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it, Not dead, he's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect, it's a spirit. very on the ball. Hey, hey, hey. So you figured it out, huh? Yeah.
You're a clever man, Inspector Cavanilla. So it's really true. By your. I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died 10 years ago. This body is just a vessel, a shell. I control everything. This shell, people. Just like it controlled the Justice Minister and Lynn. my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? to create conclusive evidence, you know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Zhao did. Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah, then why don't you let him live then? By leaving this country forever tonight, but before I... all the evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. meant to until it'll all be over.
Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shield shoot his little arrow this way. Professor, look out. Got to hurt. Dynamite A. When the devil did he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. My baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared. That medical examiner. Remember Haim. Guy. He was a complete and utter imposter. Gee, what gave it away? The blue skin. The mustache. The and may comment. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lay. But he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through their plan A. the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a safe fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off. I had to smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. A 
of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you too. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. Oh, so why is man in red still here? Ten years still here. still be here. No time for thinking now, baby. Action is the name of the game. and it can take us back even further into the past. has that meteorite data entered into it. If it detects Timsic radiation, it responds. Got that tied. Isn't, isn't it a lovely thing? I guess sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. What is sorry pear? So temsic radiation. So perhaps.
Did you pay attention to the meteorite near missile? What's the pattern? Hoping it would open and he'd fall. Try it out. If you do, you're going to set the contraption in motion. Oh, hey. I just thought of. thought he'd blow me up is what he thought. Yeah. Sisa. Hey, I know that voice. Help, help me. Wait. 
Alpha, where are you? Find. Before I'm carried away. Hem. What's with the frail sounding call for heal? He's here somewhere. A friend of yours. that looks a little fragile, but his strength that is surprise to you. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less, Out of time. Should I look for him? What are you doing there? Do you really have Ido ask? Do you really have to ask? Are you really going there? Oh no, I thought okay. Uh... Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Help me out. Of course. Here, let me come join you. Now maybe things will flow in a new direction.
even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Sissa. My animal instincts are starting to surface. Them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Him? There must be some kind of rat beast in that trash can. Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Yeah. Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can dance. Told, I feel a bit like dancing now myself. It's getting harder and harder to hold back my wild animal instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. Thank you. 
I don't know. We need more time. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector A. No! Nice. 
I have a little job for you. I can't lose. I think I have four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. Damn you! I can't believe it. Lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Cabanilla. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, I am, a poor, broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except. Like a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. What the matter do you look like you'd rather be dead, not that you aren't? I was just remembering the fact that right about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. that phone call. Yeah, he, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be mean like that. I 
and let this lively little creature This little doggy is the warrior who keeps Pamela safe. Or he would be if he was actually still full of life. Pamela. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing. That poor little girl taking hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute. Miss Kayla is a hostage. Yes, we're sorry, little worried. Camilla, a hostage. What's a hostage? Anyway, Inspector Tercabinet. Time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? But this time it's different. Right, Sissel. That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white and then we will go risk Camilla. Okay. Okay. Let's hurry up and get through this. Jacob, you're making me feel like an afterthought. All right, let's get started. Inspector Cabanela is upstairs. So our first step is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you.
Okay, lovey dove. We need your help. The pigeon has a name, and yet one of those detectives didn't even have one. Carry this measuring device upstairs, it has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Sorry for the wait, Missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Sounds familiar. Yup, same situation as mine. Your best bet bet this time around. Save Cabanilla without him noticing. With it's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something. to jump in, Sissel. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers,
The question is how to get missile over here. To swap the hats.
Oh no, they're not the right shape anymore. He's already dead. He died 10 years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Up. Is that enough chit chat? But now the situation has changed slightly. Last foot seconds are our chance.
Yeah, but what shape is it? W, would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance. I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. Let's swap this little thing with something else. A what? It's our only hope. There's gotta 
would be something here with the same shape and direction as the bolt. I don't think he noticed. Looks like you pulled up another magic to save pairing act. Hey, hey. That would have to still hurt cause he has broken bones. And now I say again. I loop it has. So warm and most of all soothed. Did I did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. What I saw in just these four minutes. me all the answers I've been looking for. All of my research these past 10 years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two were working together. That about the size of a Tia. Who would believe the story about a manipulator? We pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back. to our time. We have to rescue Miss Kamala. You're right, Missile. And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too.
after completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanilla, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Hey there, Cross. We're both Ali, if I see. Yeah, nothing like a baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old, or what I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion would bother me. Yeah, right. Like I'm going to believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Pray the boys came through for us. Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, buddy of mine. They want to do that cool dance move. If I knew things were going to end up like this. Try to die in that explosion, baby. That way, I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Huh? I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right. 
I just hate feeling so helpless. He was right there within my frost. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away 10 years ago. And he's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Detective Jode, who forced me into a corner when the girl who was playing in the park And finally, you Inspector Cabanilla. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Yes, 10 years ago on that day. The Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case.
We hold in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. Hello, Strider. And then I did it and he made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'll tell you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, Fiend. They're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hex. Beba. I've just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanilla, got a minute. The chief wants to see you about your report. Did he leave the door unlocked? Got it. I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun.
poll that how he got a gun. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake. He never would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication. For national security purposes, this county keeps tabs on the communications networks. For no security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communications networks. This particular communicatoin was about Mackin, a deal with a certain foreign country. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said with them to buy him, him and his powers. That how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He forced completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast. And the case of a man who would take the chief dinner hostage in his own office. Him. Those two inmates of the special prison, eh? We 
kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. That restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. The submarine. But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right? Highly unlikely they'd use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Camila. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. This spotless record of yours. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. This guy is a pure order good type. The letter of the law and nothing less. Then your life name. After all, it's because of my record. That I'm able to get my hands on all intel, as head of the Special Investigations Unit. and because of my position.
I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator case. The manipulator case, that why you cared about your records so much. Of course. Why else, baby? That's some fox molder there. Need to stay in those affiliate offices so you have access to those X files. I just never could believe it, man. Jow shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story, some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder, everything in my power. And I finally found the answer. It took five long years there. I wonder, I wonder if he managed to get that high in the ranks of an investigation unit in just 10 years. Usually that a director is something like a government-funded detective system would probably hire someone based on seniority. But if you based it on the US government, then well, The director is appointed by the federal government. Anyway.
That means that he's going to prove that Zhao is innocent. The manipulator, he's going to prove that Zhao is innocent. What incredible determination! There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jog. Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that why have I brought him before the justice minister too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's a day. But there's one little unfortunate result of the flawless. Lin completely misunderstood your intentions. Huh, what a little misunderstanding. My baby will come around. Give it time. But there are more important things to do with our time tonight. Murr, Superintendent. Mr. Superintendent. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know.
I used to be part of the police. Yeah, that was kind of obvious, given Capanella was working with you. The police have. Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner, I investigated victims' cause of death. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That because the corpse suddenly vanished. Can you imagine open the corpse freezer and the guy on the table is no longer there? Well, the corpse didn't just walk out the front door, and nobody saw him. You'd think someone saw him. Or a security camera. Leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpus. An unusual corpse. I bet that what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I 
have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity too. That the only way I can describe it to you, it was an unusual course. He was dead all right, no question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Oh, so he got Wolverine powers. More like the dead powers from four weddings and a funeral. a scratch, but I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered, but when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. See Wolverine powers? That's how it went, and no scaring our blood either. And then I never had the chance to solve the mystery. that because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded, and bug all the way kind of stole in that body. Nobody could have stolen that body. There is one way the corpse could have disappeared. Let me guess it locked itself out. What that?
It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What? He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. And he didn't even fail it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Ah, oh, Wolverine Powers and CIP, eh? Find some data from some testing I did. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off the body. Radiation. but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Wait a minute, could it be? Right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment. tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. Oh, uh, oh, so it's a super soldier generator. Why isn't the government excavating that out? I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life like a vampire.
wanted to research it all in depth, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. See what they tell you in movies is true. People just want to put special beings in jars in a lab. Several years later. between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Now, Professor, do you want to see me blush? It was about a year ago, I'd say. my research lab here. I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Temsic. Is that you, baby? calling anybody an oddball. I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who quit at the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. We were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet. But we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country.
In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case and Temsic were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his power. Manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added a gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. So that contraption in the basement here. You built that to try and help Detective Joe. That's right. Jared and I worked together back when he was with the Force. Jared and I worked together back when I was with the Force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it. That I couldn't reproduce, no matter how hard I tried. Camila told Jada did something it shouldn't have, made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. But why a loaded gun? So that must mean somebody minimated Camilla contraption.
as a result. We proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Inspector Cavanelli. Hey, baby. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry, I just heard. You were kissing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. You were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. That doesn't sound like you. Yikes. Tonight. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel choke. Power her hair. But a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Joad. The minister called off the execution order.
Hope you are the detective job. Go free until tomorrow morning, too. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jarrett go free until tomorrow morning, too. Not a pretty extreme while he was at it. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around, and then you swoop in at the last second. Showed. Five years ago. You left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. I've been waiting so long, Detective Zhao. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. This present you gave me, it's just what I needed. Thank you. How'd you like it? Thistle, are you there? Yeah, now I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls.
We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving Inspector Cabanella. It's almost done. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now, I don't feel so alone. Reasons is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Obviously, there's three chapters left, and since the two are on two hours apiece, we should stop here.